Good, welcome you guys back to my channel, Nene Blobs. Okay, so today I decided to make a would you rather tag video type thing, but it's the theme of Hunger Games because it's it's out Hunger Games Walking J part two. This is four. Part two is out. Okay, so this afternoon I'm gonna go and watch it with my friend and I'm so excited because I can't wait and I'm just like ah! Oh, P.S. I'm still busy with exams but, you know, I take breaks in between so I'm gonna take a break for making this video, to make this video and take a break to watch the movie. I'm so excited for the movie, I'm just saying, if you guys have watched the movie, comment down below how you liked it, no spoilers though, but comment down below how you liked it. Um, I'm gonna now answer some would you rather questions and if you want to you guys can comment down below what you would choose or if you would choose something different than me and why. Okay so let's start. Okay fight next to Peter or fight next to Gail? I think maybe Gail because he was working in a mining um, like he was mining and stuff so he's more stronger. Date Peter or um, Gail? I would date Peter, obviously. I'm sorry. For me, I would date Peter. Team Peter! Peter! Be friends with Jennifer Lawrence or be friends with Katniss? I think Jennifer Lawrence because she's very relatable and down to earth. And yeah, I, I just think she's such a fun person, so. Jennifer Lawrence! Who would you rather have as a sibling? Peter or Primrose? I'm not sure. Primrose is a really nice like sibling but Peter like you know when you have like an older brother that like can take care of you and stuff that's also really cool so maybe Peter fight next to Katniss or fight next to President Snow I think I would choose Katniss because she's really good with the bow and arrow and like yeah she's strong and she is the Mockingjay thing person ah, okay <laughs> Would you rather be trapped on an island with President Snow or Effie Trinket? I would definitely be with Effie Trinket because President Snow is evil. Why would you want to be trapped on an island with him? He would kill you, maybe. Be styled by Effie or Sina? I think Sina because he makes really good like dresses and things. Lead in the capital or in the district? maybe capital because capital gets like a lot of like resources and money even though most of them are like corrupted but I think maybe capital and I could also be the person that changes the corruption and things be a soldier from the capital or be part of the resistance I would be part of the resistance be part of the environment of the first movie or the environment of the second movie I think maybe um, the first movie because I think I'm better with like climbing and things. I'm good at swimming but I don't, yeah, I don't think I would also want to be part of like all the um, challenges that come with the environment. Plus you can also um, hide in caves and stuff so that's also cool. So I think the first one. Die at the beginning or make it close to the end and die. I think dying at the beginning would be better because if you make it close to the end you went through like a lot just to die so I think like um, if you die first you won't have to go through like traumatizing things and stuff because I mean like if you fight for like the whole entire time and then you die at the end it's just like so sad so I think die um, at the beginning be the athletic one or be the smart one I mean athletic is better because then if someone um, like like is running after you you can run really fast or like you're strong and stuff but smart you have a lot of tactics and you can help other people so I think maybe smart one have a good set of weapons or have a good place to hide huh. I think maybe I would be, be better at hiding though because I mean I can be really quiet and things so I think maybe have a really good hiding place the only downside to that is 
you will maybe be found. Be the underdog in the Hunger Games or be the person that's expected to win. I would say be the underdog because you will have more like chance to um, improve with your your abilities and things. So like you will be the most pers the person that will be most surprising. Does that make sense? I think so. Um, but if you're like the person that is expected to win, then you kind of have a lot of um, weight on your shoulders to win, and you like have to get picked for the Hunger Games when you're young or when you're old. Uh, it depends how old, but I wouldn't. I would say old because then you've lived your life at least, and uh, there's always a possibility that you will not win. So then you've at least lived your life, and then you have to play the games, play the games, be in the game. Be good with a sword or be good with a bow and arrow? I think bow and arrow because a sword you have to be close to a person and the bow and arrow you can be far and then you can like shoot and things and if you're really good then you can kill people from far away. Okay, so that was all the Hunger Games would you rather questions. If you like this video please like and comment down below if you watched the movie and how you liked it and also comment down below um, some answers that you chose from these questions and yeah if this is your first video that you watched of mine hi I am Shanae um, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button down below and watch other videos of mine there will be links down below and yeah Thank you so much everyone that has subscribed so far, I'm so grateful for all my subscribers and um, all your support. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, see you guys next time. Vlog! Okay, you guys. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I just finished watching Mockingjay Part 2. Yes, so I can't believe it's over. Hunger Games. It's like hectic. It's so like different emotions are going through me right now. Oh my gosh, it's finished. This year, I'm so pink. Wait. Hey, there. The series is finished. For me, it's kind of almost the first time really that um, a series like this important finishes because Twilight. Um, I was kind of young so I couldn't watch it until like two years after or like a year after the real movie ended or like the real series ended so I couldn't really experience that experience it that much like waiting every year for a new movie and things and now um, Hunger Games was like the first one and it's over it's like oh I mean it started with something so small and now it's so, it was so it became so big and yeah the movie was great um for me I read the book so I kind of knew what was happening but some stuff I was still surprised with for like I think I forgot what happened in the book so then like I some stuff I was surprised with still but just good and like the effects were good and there was a lot of times that was like quiet and then something exploded or something happened and you got so scared oh my gosh if you guys haven't watched it yet go and watch it it's a great movie and yeah i can't believe it's over you guys hunger games is over okay time to watch bloopers behind the scenes and interviews <laughs> Oh, have you guys seen my top? I don't know what it says, wait. <laughs> it says... Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. It's so deep. Okay, so that is kind of actually the truth because you're beautiful and if you are yourself then everything that happens will be beautiful. So that's the truth. The lesson for today is be yourself. Who would you rather have as a sibling? Peter or... What's her name? <laughs> Be styled by Effie or... What's her name? Okay. Especially... Yeah. 